So you're stuck at home, what can you do? Wanna watch something that's super cool? How about animals that really rock? Just tune in to the School of Crack! Get ready to rock with the School of Crack! Ladies and gentlemen, school is in session. Prepare yourselves for the School of Crack. Good morning, Crocodillies. It's me, Savannah, and I am here with my good friend, Gianna. Say hi. Gianna has been one of our most popular people in School of Crack, and today we're going to teach you guys about venomous snakes. What do you think, Gianna? That's cool. We're going to go find Brandon and Michael Brown. You like Brandon, right? You like Michael Brown? He's the loudest, huh? He takes you to feed the crocodiles and alligators, doesn't he? Yeah. All right, so we're going to go find them, and we're going to talk to you guys today about venomous snakes. All right, how are we all doing today? We're here for School of Croc, and we're talking about some venomous snakes. And I just happened to find this timber rattlesnake right here. And this is one of my favorite rattlesnakes. Oh, it's super amazing. Look how clean that guy is. Nice looking. So this is a timber rattlesnake or a cane brake rattlesnake. We don't have them this far south in Florida, so you shouldn't come across one. But if you come across one, be very careful because this guy has a cocktail of, of venom in his face and he's got a hemotoxin and a neurotoxin. So this is probably one of the scariest rattlesnakes that we have. And it's a really, really nasty bite. So make sure you give him his distance. Make sure you stay away from him. He has the rattle on his tail and he's one of three rattlesnakes here in Florida. We have a pygmy, a timber, and an eastern diamondback. So that's that rattle right there on the tip of his tail. Whoa, listen to that rattle go, Michael. And you see it sticking out that tongue and he's sensing yeah. everything in the grass right now tasting in it, trying to figure out which way to go. And man, he's starting to warm up and he's gonna start yeah, going that, faster When they now. warm up, they get moving quick. Yep. They don't yep, play you around. Can feel free to pull yep. back right yeah. now, yeah. Back, yeah. right back. Yeah. All right, Brandon, what do we got now? So we got another species of snake found in the panhandle here in Florida. Like that timber rattlesnake, this guy's called the Southern Copperhead. Let's pan down, check him out. He's warming up right now in that Just sun. check out those beautiful, beautiful colors. These guys blend in so, so well here in the state of Florida and the pine woods area. They blend in very well in sand and some light colored dirt and so on. And now there's a couple different varieties of these guys. This again is the Southern meaning found in the Southern United States. You have the Northern Copperhead and you have one out West as well. And this guy's just flicking his tongue like crazy right now. Let me see if I can turn his head around just a little bit and you can see it. He's just flicking that tongue, sensing, figuring out everywhere. Why do but, they call him Copperhead? Well, because that Copperhead. And he's Southern because he lives in the South. You know? Southern Copperhead. Southern Copperhead. Southern that's right. So now, is Savannah a southern blonde? Yes, she is. Technically. Oh, all right, you know? all right. I just, yep. check. I just wants to move around. He's trying to get away from us. And most of the time when we encounter snakes, that's all they're doing. They're going from point A to point B, and we just happen to be the C right in the middle there. Um, so they're not going to mess with you as long as you're not messing with them. Now, this snake right here, if you were to get bit just like that timber rattlesnake, it is going to put a hurting on you, all right? And everybody has their own reactions. Well, back up. So it doesn't put a hurting on cameraman I'm Dan. I have to put a hurting on cameraman Dan right now. <laughs> Thank All you. right. His I mom appreciate is going to write in and be so upset that yeah. we got cameraman Dan. My mom Dan. always gets upset so when you guys put so me here these animals. animals. Cameraman Dan is getting very brave with this camera today, you know? Um, he he you is know, starting to develop that skill as a wildlife dangerous photographer, uh, camera person. Cameraman Dan is terrified. He just doesn't want you guys to make fun of him. That's the difference. That's We're going right. to make fun of you either way. We're going to get going. Now, these yeah. guys are Awesome. Yeah, and like they don't have a before. rattle like the other snakes. These so. guys do not have a rattle, so they are an ambush predator. They will sit and wait uh, for their prey to come along and strike out and do it. And with that beautiful coloration, they can blend into so much terrain and territory here in the state of Florida that hardly you ever see them. Now, a thing about these snakes that live further north uh, in the United States, they like to hang out in rocks and outcrop. Um, so a lot of rock climbers actually get bit by these guys because they're climbing the mountains, climbing the rocks. They put their hand or their foot in a little hole and that snake is sitting there waiting. Snake squad! Ah, yeah. <laughs> snake squad. Gianna, you're the snake squad. How's that make you feel? Happy? You like being in the snake squad or you rather be in the gator squad? 
We'll do Gator Squad. I'll tell you this. I'm scared of snakes, but at least thanks to you guys, I know they're not going to bother me unless I bother them. So Just, what do you do you know? if you see a snake and you don't know what it is, or even if you do know what it is, what's the best advice? Run to get Michael Brown and Brandon. <laughs> if you can run to get us, sure, but that might be a far way for you to run. Most likely, <laughs> stay away. Take video, take pictures. Don't like try to phone, kill them. Don't try to away. catch them. Don't try to relocate them. Just <laughs> admire them from a distance and Definitely. leave them alone. That's yeah, the let thing. Us and typically, your best tool for a snake, especially around the house, because most of the time you're not gonna, you're not necessarily gonna have a venomous snake around the house. A lot of time, they're non, non venomous, harmless snakes. Uh -huh. Is a push broom that gives you enough distance you can kind of push it away without hurting it and make them go the other way. But don't mess with them. Don't go pick them up if they're dead or alive. You don't know where you're grabbing. Even you're a dead snake hurt. can hurt you. They yes, be absolutely. Very yep. Do you have some shout out? For his cameraman, Dan. I sure do. Shout out to Merritt, Claire, Dan, Annette, Janet, Sandra, Ashley, Ado, Cho Choli, Marcy, Turtle. Did and you say Chorizo? No, Choli and Marcy. Chorizo. Turtle. Uh, someone get her lunch. You didn't say Turtle. Turtle Man Zero. Oh, Turtle Man and for Zero. everyone who guessed on the number of croc eggs in last week's episode, the answer was 21. 21. Oh don't forget, leave a comment below right here in the comments, and we're going to say hi to you next week on School of Croc. And let's give a big shout out to Gianna for being here yes. almost Yay. every day Woo. and hanging out with us. We love you, Gianna. You love us, too. Give a high five. Yeah. yeah. All right, Thank cameraman Dan, take us home. All right, see you next week. Same Croc time, same Croc channel. Everybody stay. Bye.